Hello and welcome to YMCA 360 Houston. My name is Beth and I'm going to be taking you through a strong class today. It's a muscle workout. You're going to grab some weights, gather those up if you've got them, and we'll be ready to go. Five supersets ahead of you, each superset five minutes long. Each of those five supersets, two exercises back to back. That's what lies ahead. Let me tell you about superset number one. We're going to hit lower body first. We're going to work some squats in a wide position. We're going to take it wide together, wide together. All right? So that's your first exercise. Second exercise, some simple straight leg dead lifts. You ready to go? For the squats, you can hold those weights down to the side, or you could do no weight at all. So I'm going to grab something myself. Music is already on. We're not moving to the beat of the music, but we got that for background. Timer has started. So we're going to keep our chest up. We're going to step out, and we're going to squat down. We're going to bring the feet back together. Step out, other side, and squat down. Come on up. The main thing we don't want to do is go too fast and rush the fun. Keep it slow and steady. Hey, I'm glad you joined us today. I hope you're ready to work, because you're gonna feel pretty awesome when we're out of here in 30 minutes, and we've done our body a really, really good thing. We're hitting that lower region first. Fire up the quads. Fire up the glutes. About 8 to 12 repetitions in each set. That's what we do when we're together for this class. I hope it's not your first time. I hope you've been coming. But if it is your first time, Write it in the chat box. Our DJ back there wants to know if it's your first time and he's gonna say, hey, welcome. We're glad to have you. Spread the word. If you wanna make your muscles really strong and you want your body to feel energized, join us in our strong class. Let's take one more out. Squat. Awesome. So I'm gonna go to a heavier weight for my deadlifts. You don't have to if you don't want to. We're just going to put our feet shoulder width, shoulders back, tip down. Come on up. I love me some deadlifts. Take it out. All of us has, have different ranges of flexibility in our hamstring. So how far you go down is going to be very different. Shoulders back, tip down. I hope you're having a good day so far. It's going to be better after we're finished, right? Because we will have done our bodies some good. You know, every class we do is a little bit different. We mix up the exercises challenge our bodies in a different way. But you know, I'm pretty much sore after every one. Because they're kind of almost never the same. We're going to do a couple more. We're going to go back to our squats. Woo, energizing. Let's just do one more for good measure. Put that one down. If you switch, going back to the squat, step out, squat, come on up, feet together, step out, squat. Work in the front of the leg, chest up. At any point, if you need to drop this weight, you can just drop it. Work body weight, it's all good. Thank you. 
Super set one of five. We are in it. Form is everything. So we never sacrifice that form. We're trying to lift more weight. We don't want to do that. And we work slow reps because it keeps the momentum out of the game. Muscles need exercise just like our brains do. To keep them fit and nimble. Switch back to the deadlifts. Shoulders back, always reset so you start in that perfect position. You've committed to making the most of our time together, right? Every second counts. We're just gonna take it till our five minute timer goes off. Lift through the hips, tip down and send those hips back. Oh, hey, timer's going off, yes. Done with that, we can move these out of the way. Super set number two, your exercises or a back-stepping goblet lunge. So you're gonna be holding a weight right here. You're gonna step it back, lunge, come up, and then we switch legs like that. Your second exercise are gonna be bent over flies. So we'll be leaning over straight back, palms together, and then we fly it out to target your back, right? So glutes and back in, sec in your second superset. Set it up. You're gonna get that goblet ready to go, holding it. Five minutes is now. So you're gonna take that right leg back, way back to a proper lunge. Slow and steady. Bring it up, keep your knees slightly bent. Other leg out. Work your nice lunge. 90 degrees on that front knee is what we want. Hey, Lori, with an A-U. So you knew I was gonna call you out today, right? <laughs> I'm glad you're here. I hope Victor's with you too, getting a workout in. All right, guys, step it back. Make sure you're working strong here. Alternate step back, all the way in the lunge. Keep your chest lifted. You're just alternating those feet in a slow position. Lunge, one of the all time best exercises for your lower body. Time and time again, it's been tested. And lunges are great. We're gonna do one more, then we're gonna switch to the back work. Do you remember the exercise or do you need to remind you? All right, I'll remind you. Bend over, fly, bend over, fly. Grab the weight. Palms together, soft elbows. Take it out, hold at the top, and then you bring it down. So you're activating your upper back muscles. Right there. to not let gravity take over. Not only is working out good for your muscles, it's good for your mind, it's good for your soul, puts us in a good mood, gets all that blood moving around.
that you know all that, and that's why you're here. You turned us on, press play. It's tough to do. I know. Keep it going. It's all under control. The only bad workout is the one you don't do. As long as you do something, keep moving. Some sort of resistance. That's what we want. pretty good about where we are. We're giving this workout our very best shot. We're not going light where we can go light. We're adding it on where we think we can. If we need to switch weights, that's what we do. But your body is stronger than you think. Give it a little more credit. doing just fine. I know it's getting a little tough. This leg work drives our heart rate up because we're using those large muscle groups. Pumping that blood all around the body. All right, time for flies. Pick it up. Hurry back, no break. Ease down. Remember, elbows slightly bent. You're leaning over, straight back. Keep it coming. Just a few more and we'll be out of superset number two. Well on our way to feeling good. Activate your upper back. We are feeling this. Ugh. All right, timer went off. Woo. Yes. All right, guys. <sighs> Super set three. First exercise. We're gonna work a drag curl. We did these a few classes ago. I really liked them. They're very different. So we're gonna do is you're gonna be picking up weight and you're gonna be pulling the elbows back, all right? So from the side, you're gonna be pulling the elbows back but bringing the weight into the rib cage just like that so you're dragging it up and pulling it down. So normally you would take the weight out and leave your elbows in. This time it's the opposite. You pull your elbows back and bring the weight in. Those are drag curls. Next exercise, front raise. So we'll be taking the weights up and taking it down. Those are the two exercises in superset three. Start with drag curls. Five minutes. Starts now. All right. We're gonna bring it in. Pull the elbows back like that. It's going to take a couple three if you didn't do these with us last time to get the hang of it, of the drag curl. So you pull the weight in, shoot the elbow back. You're activating your bicep with this move. Pull it in. Let it go down. Kind of activating a different part of the muscle that we don't normally use. That's why I felt sore last time after we did them, so I knew I'd have to do them again. 
I put it on my short list of ones that come back. Hey, if you have any ideas of exercises that you really like, let our DJ know he's watching and he'll make notes, okay? Yeah, and if you send him a payment, if there's one you really don't like, that might help, right? I'm just kidding, we love our DJ. We're gonna bring it in. Remember, you're shooting those elbows back. Weights in for this bicep work. Pull it in. You drag the elbows back and keep those weights close to the body. We're gonna go one more time. Let it go, time for the front raise. I know that I need to go lighter in the front raise than I went in the bicep, but hey, you know your body, you know what you need to do. Front raise. So elbows are slightly bent, let's go, let's go, let's go. No higher than shoulder height. You gotta really brace the core and abs. Strong base down below, right? Feet underneath you. A way to make this just a little bit easier, what would that be? Besides dropping the weight, what would be a way to make it a little easier? Do you know? One arm at a time, right? So that's a way to lower the intensity just a bit. So go one arm at a time. You're just alternating. If you're doing one arm at a time, you're keeping everything squared up nice and strong. If you go two arms, there's a big difference in muscle recruitment, especially in the core, to make this happen. Keep the shoulders back. Don't let them fall forward. Doing great. Just a couple more in this section. Last one, last one. Back to drag curl. Hurry. If you think you can go higher in the weight than you did before, try. Drag the elbows back. Keep the weights in close to your body. Come on, come on. You've already come such a long way. Bring it in and lower down. Come on, come on, come on. I miss seeing all of your faces in person. Can't wait till I can see you all again. Come on, bring it in and down. Work in the bicep. Make sure the grip is nice and loose. Right there. We're just gonna do one more of the curls. Front race, come on, come on, come on. Let's get it done right here. Shoulders back, pick it up. The thing with the slow range of motion is that there will be no flinging. That weight out of control. Nothing is out of control when you're going slowly. Remember your option of one arm at a time. I'm gonna try to stick it out though and get these last few before the timer goes off and work as hard as I can work. I hope you're doing the same out there. I know you are. Yes, done, timer's off. Woo. You good? Get that little shakety shake. Super set four. Two moves. So we just worked biceps. 
I need to work our triceps. We're gonna do that on the mat with some weights with the tape press. I'll review the form on that one. It's been a few classes since we've done that move. Your second one will be core out of a plank position. So triceps and core make up superset four. Oh, that kind of rhymes. I didn't plan that. Okay. Tape press. The way this one works, and DJ, you're gonna have to show them from the side. Let me show you first. Timer's not on yet, okay? So we're gonna start out with the weights like two inches apart. And you're gonna take it up like this. And you're gonna come down towards your chest. And you're gonna power through the triceps to open it up. And then down. All right, you got that? Excellent. So that will be your first exercise. The second exercise will be in a plank position, down, and we'll just be doing some walking planks. If you don't want to go in the plank position, go against the wall and just lean against the wall, and you're still gonna work your core, okay? Tape press. I'm gonna try a little different weight with that. Okay, ready? Timer's on, let's go. Tricep work, we worked biceps. So we gotta hit that opposing muscle group. Weights about two inches apart, elbows out. Come on up, squeeze. Control it back toward mid chest line. Can you take it up? And you bring it down. How's it going? This is another one that you don't see that often, but it's a really good variation for tricep work. Hits the muscle just a little differently than what we might do. And it takes a time or two to get the hang of it. But I really like this one. Do you like it? I'll take that as a yes, so we'll keep going. <laughs> That's the thing about teaching virtual classes, is you can ask people for their opinions, but then you end up doing really just what you want anyway. So I sort of always get my way. All right, bring it in. Extend it up. You should be feeling this in your tricep right about now. Just do one more for me, one more. Fight for it. Wow, okay, come on up. Quick to your core position. We're gonna work the plank and the walking feet. So you're gonna be up, you're just gonna take it out and bring it back and then switch the feet and bring it back. Got it? Keep going. So what I want you to do is make sure it's slow. Because when it's slow, that is more time that the foot is off the ground, which makes you fight for stability. Does that make sense? If you go really fast, it's not a lot of time for your core muscles to struggle. And I want them to struggle so they can be stronger for next time, okay? So really slow and controlled with your walking plank. You gotta tighten everything up in that midsection. If you need to just take a break, you can lean back and take a break at any time you can do that. One more, back to tricep work as fast as you can. You're really gonna feel it in this set with our tight press. Bring it up, squeeze, 
bring it down. Come on, you've already started, haven't you? I hope so. Elbows out. Activate your triceps. Concentrate on trying to move these weights at the same time. Don't let one get ahead of the other or win the race. They're twin, twin weights and they have to stay together. Oh, starting to feel that now. Small muscle group under a lot of pressure with this exercise. Do you feel it? Are the arms getting a little shaky? A little bit? Oh. Fight, fight, fight. Last one. Yes. Walking planks. Walking planks. Back into that plank position, straight back. Lower the hips down, and it's a slow walk out. Keep it slow and steady. Strong here. Could you also do these on your elbows? Yeah, you could. You could do the same thing on your elbows. It's so whatever you want. Whatever you want, until our timer goes off. And speaking of that, it just went off. Oh, okay, catch your breath. I got really good news, you know what that is? We're already up to super set five. And we're done with the weights. I'm not even going to use any weights anymore. I am so nice. I'm just surprising myself today. For superset five, we're going to stay nice and comfy down here on the mat. The first move, rainbows. So we're going to be working your hips. And then the next move, we're going to be working the core. And I'm not going to tell you about that one yet because I don't want you to go away. You're going to stay here with me, okay? All right. First one. The rainbow. Do you remember how we did this one? You're gonna take one leg way out, up and over, here, and back. So we'll do that on one leg, and then we'll do our other little surprise exercise, and then we'll do it on the other side. Okay, five minutes starts now. With your rainbow, leg out, activate your hip, you're drawing a giant size rainbow with your toe. And you're gonna make sure that your rainbow doesn't have a flat top. It needs to have a very high arch and a top. How you doing with that? This is some serious hip and core work that we're doing right now. Keep it going, you should already feel it. Make that giant rainbow. Oh my goodness, let's do this one and take it back out. Ah, whoo. Okay, next exercise, scissors. Do you know how to do scissors? You love them. So we're gonna be down like this, and you're gonna raise your legs up, and you're just gonna scissor them. Now, you can start at the top and scissor down and scissor up. Or you can keep them low or you can keep them high, but whatever it is, go now. So you're just gonna be crossing those feet. Of course, the further out you go, the more difficult it is. You're not really scissoring those feet fast. You're keeping it slow 
So you can go low as long as you can. And then when you need a little bit of break, take the scissor back up to the top. Does that make sense? How are you doing? Are you doing okay? So we can bring that scissor back low and really challenge like this. And then you can bring it all the way up if you need a little bit of break. You are loving this and doing such a great job. Come on back down if you're not there already. Relax. Wow. Come on up. We got to do the rainbows on the other side. Let's go. Toe out. Up and over. And bring it back. Concentrate, you're doing great. You're excited for the next set of scissors, aren't you? I can feel your energy and your excitement coming over the airwaves. Big rainbow with the toes. Activate your hip, activate your core. We're going to do two more. And roll it over for the scissors. I don't need to tell you about it. Just start working and get that job done. You can start at the top and you can work the scissors down or you could just stay low and work it at the bottom just like this. Stay low for as long as you can before you work the legs up for a break. I say break, but it's not really much of a break. We're still working hard even when the feet are up here but then try to lower back down and maximize your time with the scissor move. Stay strong, everybody. Work it down as much as you can. Yay, our timer went off. Yay for you, and yay for me for surviving that. Whoa, okay. Stand up. You're gonna move your mat if you have one out of the way. It is time for what you wait for every class, and what is that? It's your 60 second blaster. 60 seconds of as many of the exercises you can do for your blaster today, I'm setting my timer for one minute. We're going to do some jump moves where we jump and we hit those toes together at the top and then we jump back out. You want me to show you? How do you like that? If you don't want to jump, you're just here really fast, okay? One minute in three, two, one, go. Try to jump out, soft landings. How many can you do? Here's low, here's low. I'm working my outer hip here. I'm still gonna get my heart rate up by working the low option. If you're going high option and then you need to take a break, you can go here. But try to hit those feet and land softly for this awesome master blaster. Come on. Almost there. Almost there, guys. Go, go. 
Ah, almost done. Stop. Woo. All right. Yay. All right, I'm a little out of breath. I hope you are too. That's gonna bring an end to our strong class for today. Hey, I hope you had a great workout and you had fun today. I appreciate you joining us on YMCA 360 Houston. Until next time, take care.